they come off a little corny sometimes, a little cheesy yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So how do you make being a Republican a conservative cool again? So before we listen to someone with the personality of a wet napkin give advice on how to be cool as a conservative, we have to ask the question, was cool a conservative thing to begin with? M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Expose yourself to red light therapy. Yes. Um, and the juve um, that we were using in the documentary, there's a massive amount Which of- Which is testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning, but it's also full body. There's no secular argument against adult incest. Brother and sister want to make love. What's your argument? That they're going to produce mentally offspring? It's nonsense. It takes many generations of inbreeding to do that. There is no secular argument against adult consensual incest. We're just scratching the surface of the unhinged things ultra-right-wingers in the media say, and sadly, conservative elected officials and operatives who are all in on the MAGA train, they're not much better, folks. And sometimes... They're even worse than outliers in the media. They just want you to think that all of a sudden the entire population uh, is steadily turning gay or turning trans. Just generation, generation. Probably in about four or five generations, no one will be straight anymore. Everyone will be either gay or trans or non-conforming or whatever the list of 50 or 60 different options there are. But unfortunately, that message is deceiving some voters. They're saying, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. We weren't, we weren't like California. We weren't like Michigan. Give me a break. That's like saying he doesn't beat me all the time. <laughs> protect religious liberty. Protect people of faith. And protect Americans who believe in the true meaning of marriage. I hope and pray that my colleagues will find the courage to join me in opposing this misguided and this dangerous bill, and I yield back. The next conspiracy theory to go down the drain is Hollywood, the music industry, totally, totally not into the satanic rituals. Despite all of the symbolism, despite all of the coincidence with said symbolism, it never ends. Maybe it's art, but why is it always this kind of art? Why is it never like regular art? Then they say, no, we're not doing this, but we're gonna keep doing it. We could be here all day showing examples of why the weird line of attack from the Democrats has struck such a nerve with Republicans. But let's check back in with J.D. Vance to see what his solution is. And I think if you tick through the issues here, we just believe in common sense. And we think that if you're governed by common <clears throat> sense, every kid in this country, black or white, rich or poor, is going to have mm -hmm. an opportunity at the American dream. We just got to get back to that common sense. We're going to make that argument. It's as if Vance is preparing for an SNL skit claiming that Republicans need to get back to common sense to change public perception of the party and presumably bring in more young voters. But are today's Republican policies actually common sense in practice? Hell no. There's nothing common sense about giving corporations unlimited power to do whatever they want to the market and their employees, restricting over 50% of the population from making personal health care decisions. How about continuing to destroy and poison our planet for future generations in search of profit? It's not a good look in the common sense lane. Governor Walls has called you and Donald Trump, and that is weird. Sure. And it has taken off. The New York Times reports that when Donald Trump was asked about it, he said, not me, they're talking about JD. Well, certainly they've levied that charge against me more than anybody else, but I think that it drives home how they're trying to distract from their own policy failures. I mean, look, this is fundamentally schoolyard bully stuff. They can accuse me of whatever they want to accuse me of. Democrats say that it is racist to believe, well, they say it's racist to do anything. I had a Diet Mountain Dew yesterday and one today. I'm sure they're going to call that racist too, but it's great to be here. It's great to be part of VF Post, uh, VFA, VFW Post 92, I've actually got the card right here in my pocket. I'm officially a member, so this is not the last time you're gonna see me. My little theory about why they decided to have the convention in Chicago is, you know, Tim Waltz has been going around saying that he served in war, and maybe they did it in Chicago so that he could actually accurately say that he, went, he visited a combat zone. J.D. Vance has to know at this point in the campaign that 
His personality is, well, a major liability to Donald Trump's image. But Donald Trump isn't helping himself much either. We're going to bring up electronics, too. Electronics, we buy everything away. When you see the sophistication of the product I just saw at this place, electronics is peanuts by comparison. Between his movement and her laugh, there's a lot of craziness. I'd say a step further than weird. Weird is a nice word by comparison. Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sir, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? Newsflash, the only reason why Lawrence Jones asked Vance that question was because of how well the Democrats' weird messaging strategy is working since Joe Biden dropped out of the race. And they are also hitting it out of the park with the we go high when they go low attitude. You see what can happen when we, the people, the voters, put pressure on our elected officials and the establishment is forced to listen to our demands.